Hello everybody. Today's topic how to create a user in Active Directory Windows 2008 server and how to grant that user a remote access to that server. In order to do that I'll have to log on to a Windows server as administrator. This is my my local computer Windows 7. I'll go to start I can go on to remote desktop connection if you don't have it here you can also type mstsc in search and it will show you a remote desktop connection dialog box I have access to this domain uh, server as administrator I can connect to it and my username and password the password for administrator is saved and I don't have to type it in the password you might have to type in the password now we have two screens now this is my local computer local laptop and this is a window that is uh, showing the desktop of a remote server in order to create a new user it's very simple click start administrative tools active directory users and computers now this screen opens up and uh, this is the name of the domain and there is a folder called users right click new and you have a number of options click user new object is being created and the object type is user you can type in the name Kiara for example and last name Knight and this is the user logon name this is the name that you'll a user will have to use to log on to the system so I can simply say Kiara simply click next and type in the password choose a password retype it and you can choose whatever password policy that you want to choose I will unclick this and click this one user cannot change password say next finish and the new user has been created Kiara Knight double click onto it and then click member member off there's a tab called member off and by default this new user is a default domain user it does not have any any remote access to the computer so we'll have to make this user a member of remote desktop user group simply press add and you can find you can type in remote and check names remote desktop users say ok and now this user is also a member of remote desktop users you can apply and close and you're done you can close this and you can minimize this you should be able to log on to this remote computer as Kiara this time I'll simply press remote desktop connection I'll edit and I want to change the user Kiara and the password is say ok connect ok now to log on to this remote computer you must be granted the allow logon through terminal services now this is uh, uh, a bit silly but I'll, I'll show you what it means say ok and I will switch user I'll have to log on as administrator once again Trader. what that mean was that the remote desktop users are not allowed to log on to server by using terminal services so what you simply have to do go to start run and GP edit MSC if it is not there you have to type GP edit MSC and it opens up local computer policy settings now these policies are not active directory objects these belong to local uh, computer or server and you go into Windows settings security settings and local policies user rights assignments and you have a number of policies in front of you you have to find 
allow logon through terminal services I can open it up a bit more so this is the policy and as you can see only administrators at the moment are allowed to log on through terminal services double click on it and add a user or group so we want to add a group I can simply add a user which is Kiara check names and I'll say okay now this user and administrators can log on to this server remotely but the problem is I'll have if I create new users and I want to give them the same access I'll have to do this again and again I an ideal way to handle this problem is to add and then remote check names remote desktop users I'll say OK and I'll say OK and I'll delete this so what it means this is uh, a user group so our user is a member of this group and whenever we create a user and we make him or her the member of this group they will be able to access the computer remotely I'll say apply and I'll OK I'll close this and I'll minimize this and I can again connect as this user and I can simply connect to the remote server without any problems and the user the new user is logged on thank you very much